Several hundred years ago, there once was a king in India who very much enjoyed to play games, so much so that he was bored of all current games available at the time. Being a wise king, he commissioned a poor mathematician who lived in his kingdom to come up with a new game. Several months passed, and the mathematician struggled with many different ideas for new games, until one day he settled on one. The name for this game was Kataranga. The concept was simple. There were two armies, one for each player. The object was to defeat the opposing army by capturing the enemy's king. It was played on an 8x8 square board. The king enjoyed the game immensely, so he offered the poor mathematician anything he wished for. The mathematician's request was simple. He told the king, I would like one grain of rice for the first square of the board, two grains for the second, four grains for the third, and so on, doubling the amount of the previous square for all 64 squares on the board. The king looked upon the mathematician dumbfounded. Is that all? The king asked. Are you sure you would not like some gold or silver coins instead of some simple grains of rice? The rice is more than sufficient, replied the mathematician. The king looked at the mathematician one more time, oddly. With a clap of a hand, he ordered his staff to retrieve the mathematician's reward. The staff began to lay out the reward on the board, one square at a time. The king was still in shock by the meager reward this mathematician requested. Soon, though, he realized he was in serious peril. The reward started out simple. One grain of rice, two grains of rice, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, and a hundred and twenty-eight to finish out the first row. His servants then began filling out the second row. He quickly realized that the rate at which the amount of rice was growing was too quick. The grains could no longer occupy the square they were set upon. With that, he realized that there was not enough wealth in the kingdom to pay for all the rice needed. By the 30th square, the entire supply of rice in the kingdom was exhausted. The king approached the mathematician. You have provided me with such a great game, and yet I cannot fulfill your simple wish. You are indeed a genius. In return for overlooking the remainder of the debt owed, the king made the mathematician one of his top advisors.